Welcome to my quick guide for Sindels. Um, the clan Sindel is an interesting resource that's in this game of RuneScape. It takes five people to create a clan, as the system requires, uh, the game that is. This is tier 7. It is maxed out. It took well, maybe two or three years to get fully developed. Um, and earned uh, and a lot of help from a lot of different clan members anyway uh, I'll get on with the guide not the history of things um, what you'll do is you'll come in through the portal uh, that's over here you can quick teleport or whatever you'll end up someplace in your citadel near this teleport location you can move around your citadel using citadel information and clicking these T spots for teleports, um, there's different plot skill plots that you can it is, uh, teleport to, as well as other areas that are of interest. Um, the town square area are, is where the clan avatar habitat is located. Uh, when you visit here every week, the first thing you'll want to do, start doing, if you're just a new recruit, even in a clan, the first thing you want to do is see if your clan has avatars or doesn't have avatars it doesn't matter but you'll want to go to the obelisk help uh, skill plot if it's available uh, that's the first thing you want to max out on um, in skills um, because it counts as a wild card toward all of your requirements for all of your other skill plot needs to maintain the citadel so you're allowed about 250, 270 a week um, in your resource cap, which is down here. Uh, you can see in your mini games display, and I put mine there. So what I'm going, this is also a useful video for clan administrators. Um, the way that Rune Jagex made the clan siddles initially, and it's a mess, uh, the coding is and such. They made avatars only available to the ranks admin or higher in a clan. But if you are admin higher and your permission set job title is set to avatar warden, you can't, which I will show you, uh, the clan info button go, is not what I want. Clan settings, click clan settings, go to permissions. You can see admin level or administrator levels right here. This organizer, coordinator, overseer, and deputy owner, and own, clan owner, of course, can get avatars out of the habitat for use. Um, you go to clan mates if you want to give us. Now remember, they've got to be admin level or higher. So you got to make sure you set them in admin. Click save, and then after they're saved. You'll go down here to the job title Avatar Warden. You'll set that, and then you'll click Save. And see there's the warning right there. And then they can summon avatars. You can also take that privilege away. What you'll do is you, every week uh, you have things called orts. Those may leave the game soon. Um, rumor has it. What they are is something dropped. Uh, you get 200 a day from random task, skilling, and killing monsters, whatever. Um, you used to click buffs on a clan avatar, and you have certain buffs for a week. You sacrifice 300 Anagaga Gords um, to get your buffs. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click Renew Buffs. Sure. Now I have new buffs. I'm going to interact with the clan avatar, summon it out. You'll want to use this buff right here at your Citadel, 3% XP skill boost or 6% skill boost to the same uh, people in the world. Um, that's what you'll want to use most of the time. Um, there should be, uh, yeah. 10% more resources from skill plots and so this one's useful also but not for skilling um, we never really use the other buffs uh, they can be useful um, I typically don't because you want the XP boost for your skills in the Citadel so 
that's what we'll we'll grab we'll click that and we'll click summon the avatar that'll grab it out and it will follow you like any familiar you can even go in your familiar interface now each avatar has a resource gathering limit of the same amount as you do for your resource cap so what you want to do if you're an administrator this is a step that has to be taken most players won't notice about it we'll go and set our upkeep goals for the week this is what we need uh, you'll see the word surplus that's how much you've already uh, you're down um, or over uh, the upkeep is what we're trying to maintain now and have been for quite a few for a few years now because we've maxed out our signal we don't upgrade anything else we don't degrade anything else we just let it set the way that we've earned it uh, it's all maxed out and everything so we're going to look at upkeep and set the resource goal target to the amount which was 3860 I already set this one uh, just for an example and then you'll want to click lock on target and then once the target is reached the plot will lock and no one will be able to gather any more resources from it we're going to do the same thing with all of our other resources 3830 on this as well 2245 now this one's kind of tricky because your precious ores go toward your precious bars so we have a negative surplus of 2197 so that's going to be our goal for precious ores and that's what we need now bars 1910 now charcoal is a little tricky um, with that you want to add the amount that you need for your precious bars and metal bars together so we're going to open a calculator real quick we're going to do the math just so that you can see it now the goal is 2245 for bars for gold bars we're going to add that or precious whatever you want to call them 1910 for metal bars we're going to add those together and we get 4155 so that's going to be our goal for charcoal at least it normally would be um, we're up or we already have yeah we have six right now for whatever else we'll set it at 4155 sure we'll lock that 1250 for stone lock that one um, I want to make sure all these were are locked for a reason and I'll explain that in a bit 3088 is what we have left on this um, goal for upkeep 3595 so we want to keep that going uh, to the max goal because this isn't a shared resource with charcoal and metal ores that what they do is they get used up together to make the metal bars so that's why I only set our goal for ores as what we needed in the negative surplus right here otherwise I would have said that the full night well I did set it at the full 1910 but there were six already gathered so I sh could have set it at 1904 but it doesn't matter it's four it's not a big differential it won't cost anything always leave summoning totally unlocked and that is what you want set as your primary target also because you want everyone to get as many summoning points as possible also free summoning here is amazing uh, that's the back end of administrating a clan's resource goals for a clan's citadel that is what you will want uh, there's a lot more in depth to this this will tell you what every plot costs uh, in resources in terms of gathering or upgrading etc this shows where your plots are located when you build them you click on these sections and select which one you want to stick where uh, you can change your layouts the time of day but these only t change during what's called the tick or the weekly reset of the Citadel Citadels are an instant shard world they are not on the regular servers uh, they're temporary data written on the fly basically um, 
Now these are your building slots. This is all customization options. Ours has been fully customized over the years. Um, we have foil, floral dragon hedge, uh, artisan range statue, Undine fountain. Um, we've got imperial arsenal, imperial arsenal, uh, another floral phoenix hedge, ornate ranged pillar, artisan magic statue, artisan me melee statue, uh, grand avatar habitat, of course, ornate melee pillar, dra frost dragon perch. Uh, you can only get that tier seven um, once you've reached the max level. Ornate magic pillar, a lion fountain, uh, grand bando statue, grand zamorak statue, grand dragon statue, grand zaro statue, and grand armadil statue. That's what we've got there as for as far as customizations go. And it's just aesthetics. It's for looks. It makes your sudden prettier looking. So now we've gone over the basics of how to set your resource goals, um, your avatar summoning, and orts. So the next thing is to look at the count just to check and see how many people have come to the Citadel so far since the week ticked and you can see the next build tick is not for some time because it just reset today and that is one of the things I wanted to do for sure was show you at the very start you'll see this symbol rotating around your character just like the avatar that shows that the avatar is in the same world you can also go to your clan chat channel click clan notice board functions you can look down here at the bottom and see who has avatar summoned and in what world they're in it's really useful you can see your resource goals and such click i button the info button which is clan details you can see information about your clan uh, clan size uh, home worlds, game times, uh, your official form link, which your clan owner colors, um, your RS homepage on the website. You can change this symbol here. This is your flag for whatever country you're in if you want. Your clan motto, keywords that define describe your clan. Uh, for the search function mostly on their website and such now what we're going to do after we've got uh, if you're an admin or higher and whatever and you've got your avatar summoned even if you're not if you're just if you're one of the right lower ranking clan members I don't want to say anyone's not important in the clan because everyone is um, but I don't want to make them seem like they're lower they're really not they're your you know they're no one's better than anybody except by how the clan is defined, how it operates, the infrastructure, each clan is unique and different. Uh, but as per the game engine and how avatars are summoned, people, yes, are, you know, divided by that in a way. Um, this is the summon obelisk plot. Now what you want to do is click on whichever one's highlighted and lets you Say, it says summon obelisk when you hover over it or click it or whatever that's the one you want to click now, I'm not going to do this yet um, I want to show people how to gather resources with avatars uh, what this does gather resources is you can make your avatar do the work of another person and this is typically what I will do every week and anyone that summons an avatar should help uh, check resource goals first and see which one needs it the worst and let's say we're behind in stones or something have it gather stones once a resource is locked and it reaches its point the avatar won't be able to gather that resource anyways you won't even be able to select it which is handy and useful um, manual lock should never be used unless it's by unless everything has finished locked but once ever all your resources lock they will automatically reopen once all of the goals have been reached so that's convenient so there'll never really be a good reason to use manual lock uh, if you follow the procedures I've outlined already now like I said with uh, gathering resources let's see what I want this to get um, the most useful would probably be uh, charcoal at this point just because there's a ton of it needed uh, and it's just the start of the week, so I'm going to do that. 
Um, the next thing, this is going to be in sections, this video. The last one I made it was too large to upload to YouTube because it was like an hour and a half or two hours of just explaining Sindel resources and such. Um, what I'm going to do is withdraw a clan cloak and show you what this is. Now these are your clan items, uh, clan vexillums. Um, what this does, you can wield it. Uh, but it's most useful for placing. Um, you can sh apparently I can't place it where I'm standing, so I'm just going to move a little bit. Um, just shove it in the ground like that, and other players can come examine your Vexilum while it's standing around RuneScape. It'll show your clan details page or pop up display, whatever. Uh, clan colors and stuff. This is a tier 7 Vexillum. Once your clan Sindel has reached that level, you can switch this in the keep, which is this giant building here. It may be in a different location based on your layout. And so you can get that. That It's also good for teleporting. You can teleport to Prifindus, uh, Prif, Prifindus, <laughs> what, however you want to pronounce that. I'd just call it Prifindus. Uh, and, or the clan camp South Falador, the original spot where everyone used to have to go. Um, Prif will only be unlocked, obviously, if you can access it. Um, and it's not a one-click teleport. It used to be, and that was really handy, but Unfortunately, it's not anymore. It'd be nice if we could toggle the teleport settings on things just to select uh, from multiple teleports which ones are default. And yeah, something for another day. Clan cloaks. Um, I'm already wearing mine. Uh, this is actually a, an override in your customizations inter interface. You can find it in clan cloaks or whatever. It says clan cloak. You can click that and then it'll equip it on your back. It's pretty simple. Um, but you do want the physical item as well. You right click it. Uh, you see the stars at the bottom. That's my fealty level. One, two, three. Fealty level three. That gives you the most XP while you're skilling at the Citadel by doing it every week. Um, if you have full fealty, you can right click your clan cloak, click fealty reward. It'll let you get bonus XP in whatever skill you feel like. Um, it, which is a nice little incentive. It's basically a small lamp or whatever worth of XP toward whatever skill you feel like every week for, you know, skilling. It's pretty great. Now, I think I'll just shove it on my farming for now or, yeah, I'll we'll throw it on fletching. Nah, I really want to, yeah, we'll throw it on fletching, I guess. There, I really hate that skill. It just takes forever. And there's another bonus XP feature for skilling also. You go to the clan keep, go inside the keep. We will notice a couple of people. There's a handbook guy, head guard. You can ask him to bank or, you know, uh, collect like a bank or avatar handbooks. Those will help you. Um, but the guy, quartermaster, this is how you move your the day your Citadel updates or deposit orts. Kind of pointless now. Claim XP is what you want to click. If you've done enough work uh, at your Citadel that week, which is roughly half your cap um, to get this anyways. Um, it's not enough to keep... I mean, you ideally want to max out the Citadel as much as possible. And once you have, you'll get your XP rewards. What you want to do is talk to this guy, claim XP, and you get bonus XP on a skill like fire making or wood cutting or cooking, whatever it was you want to skill from the Citadel. I usually throw it on summoning. You can see how much extra I've gotten. Um, because that's a kind of a tough skill to level and it takes a lot of money. So I have played this game 15 years. Um, it's kind of surprising. I've run this clan 15 years. It's had different names at different times. Um, it was originally, uh, what was it originally? Uh, Rune Legion. 
or something like that. Uh, well, it started as RWL, Rune World Order, <laughs> technically. But I was going through different name changes at the time. Uh, then it went to Rune Legion, and then I changed it just to Rune Legion X, and then just RLX Rune, for short. Um, kept it that way for quite a long time, and um, then it went through, you know, a transitional period when my life did. And, um, it's been named Void Nation since, two, well, since we founded it and refounded it, I should say, in 2005. Um, that was when I met my in real life ex girlfriend. Uh, I got her into this game. She maxed out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. She helped me run this clan for about 10 years and was in my life about 10 years. Um, so far, you never know what the future holds. But she moved on with her life and such, and she does have her own cl uh, other clan now um, that they started uh, with a fraction of ours. Um, and that's okay, because we'll do you know dual clanning and stuff we're not you know disassociated or anything entirely so um, right now though she's growing it at this point and um, is just more focused on getting their you know funds and um, structuring and stuff and recruiting and trying to build their clan up right now um, uh, this clan is not doing bad whatsoever um, we dropped down to about 450 members when they all started theirs, when their group decided to go and do that. And we've been meaning to do dual clanning for quite a few years anyways. And it just made more sense. Uh, she didn't want to run a clan anymore anyway, and there's a whole backstory to all that, but they wanted her to, so she does reluctantly. and stuff like that but we're, thanks to our clan members and you know uh, their efforts we we're back to where we were which is about 470 471 whatever we are at the moment um, which is great um, not everyone's active all at once you can see it's late night right now where I am and there's only a couple handfuls of people on at the moment um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else simple and fast I can explain in this first part of the video right now. And I don't think that there really is. That's pretty much it. Uh, what you'll want to do is just get these items from the scribe. Uh, he's the guy that's at the Feldor clan camp. You can get a Vexilum from him or a clan cloak from the guard captain that's standing there on the main world. Um, I suppose I can go there real quick and just show you where they're standing. Um, let me talk to Avalani here real fast. She's over here, I think. Yeah, there she is. This character was is the one that originally finds portals and stuff and Anyways, um, this is just kind of a um, task, I think, in the Felidor test set or something. Talk to her to Siddle or something or other. It's good for learning things, though, about Siddle. It's very helpful. Yep, task wizard did it. Anyway, now we'll go back to the mainscape world. I'll show you the scribe and the guard captain real quick. A little buggy. But this new engine has been really, really good for um, RuneScape. It's, uh, <laughs> there we go. Jeez. Just did not want to function. Now, things load funky a little bit, but whatever. Um, they'll load eventually. All the resources that the game takes. There's the scribe. This is the guy you'll talk to to, fun, fun, to, fund, to found your clan also. Get Vexlum. Um, the captain of the guard, he's over here. You can talk to all of these people. They'll give you different information and such. All useful if you've never used a Citadel before. 
So that's it for part one. Um, part two will mostly consist of explaining more of what, well, you know, let's try and fit this in real quick. This is the clan chat channel. This will leave your clan chat channel temporarily. You can click it to re-enter. You've already seen the clan details, clan notice board functions. I'm not going through that right now. But the clan notice boards are by clan portals. You'll see them over here. You can administrate events uh, using those. Um, clan settings. This is how where you go to set clan mate ranks. The actual clan settings, mottos, keywords, motif, broadcast settings, uh, clan basic clan settings, permissions of what you give each rank and access to in regard of all of the aspects of clans in general. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, I want to say that you know, cleaning is not simple, it's not easy, but it's pretty well worth it. Uh, our, this clan, I think, is one of the ten oldest clans still in the game. I would like to go through and name all the others that have, you know, kept their longevity because they deserve some credit for keeping clan clanning alive and such. Um, it's been pretty pretty great. It's a big backbone of RuneScape that most people don't even, aren't even aware of half the time because this game is huge now. If you were to start and um, get going, there's 15 years of content you've got to catch up on and that is just crazy to me. I mean even w with, I get skillings intensive and stuff, but that really should be. But the content itself should be more streamlined. Um, more user function friendly shit uh, in the game should be you know done um, all the older areas should be updated and you know everything that's already existent should be more functionalized like many games have trouble keeping players in them they should be integrated into quests um, just a couple of them just to get players into those mini games and the mini games not really played should be maybe absorbed into other mini games and mixed in somehow or just all written out all together but there's a lot of aspects to this game that players just don't have the time to really get to or spend a lot of effort in but clan sindels are definitely one of the hugest updates they were put in in 2012 uh, I believe it was or 2011 maybe it was even 2010 I think it might have been 2010 uh, it was about the time they had the really cool looking Barrow's armor for like a short span of two years. But the things change and um, Sindels are useful. You can go in this and bank here too. Uh, you can also take capes uh, for the battlefield, but you can wear these as well. You can change it from green to red or whatever. It does it in blue. Three basic, you know, gods, Sarah Dowman and Zamrak and Guthics. Uh, I wish they'd write Guthics into more stuff again. Um, really. Uh, it's, it's dumb that even though they killed his character or whatever and brought him back for some quests and, you know, he's a footnote now in the game and so be it. But they don't really give you the option to keep following that God, so to speak, anymore, and that's kind of a shame. He didn't get his own ad, ad, uh, missionary or ad, whatever they're called, um, but it is what it is. This that has nothing to do with clanning and necessarily. And I'm running off on tangents, so I'm just gonna let everybody know about the clan and. Uh, it's Void Nation. You can join anytime you want. Um, we do keep the guest chat off for reasons. Unless you're invited. And then we'll let you guest for a while, perhaps. This clan has been around 15 years. I plan on keeping it around even longer. I make these videos for the purpose of letting all my clan members learn how to do the things that I can do. So that eventually everyone can run this clan. I don't want to 
be the only person that's capable of doing that if I'm not available to play the game or you know other people just want to be more involved uh, I encourage that actually but this is a peaceful clan it's not usually a warring clan um, it's more a player versus monster of course like many clans are but we do mini games and stuff every so often as well and of course I host um, custom games every so great great so often uh, when I can as well like I said I'm not maxed yet I wish I were but I've hardcore this game since before hardcore was a uh, <laughs> choice um, a play type of sorts and even put in the game there was no Iron Man mode at the time um, but I prefer my free trade open and I didn't convert my character at all to any ending of that because otherwise I couldn't trade my clan mates you know I couldn't help with them out or anything and so that's the choice I made with that although I am getting closer to maxing I don't know if I'll get there but we'll see you know only time will tell you gotta keep up with the constant incoming content too like invention I'm only 29 in that currently that is hard as heck it's an elite skill you've got to have 80 and uh, what smithing or something and something else just to even do it I think it was rune crafting um, or div I can't remember what it was but anyway uh, that's the end of part one uh, thanks for paying attention and sticking with me through my you know my uh, rambling and my murmuring and stammering uh, I don't really have a stutter usually, but I am kind of tired and not fully focused on what I'm doing right now. So I did want to get this video made, so it's made. At least part one is, and that's efficient enough, I think, for now.